What exactly counts as a living being? This is a question that has plagued biologists for many years. All living beings are put under various categories in the three domain system. There's a five kingdom classification, the two domain system and the three domain one. But what is prominently missing from all of these are viruses. Viruses complicate things because while they carry either their own DNA or RNA, they can only replicate when they hijack a host and don't really function like living creatures otherwise. And this is where things get interesting. Researchers have stumbled upon something that could rewrite biology textbooks. The Sukuna RKLM Mirabilis. Hiding inside a dinoflagellate, a phytoplankton, is this tiny microbe less than one micron wide that is essentially just DNA. It lacks metabolic pathways, which means that it cannot make essential molecules like amino acids and is completely parasitically dependent on its host. But it can make its own ribosomes and messenger RNA, something viruses just can't do. The Sukuna Bicona is a Shinto deity, often described as dwarf, and Mirabil is Latin for miracle. And what a miracle this discovery is. It was entirely accidental. The authors were studying the larger cell and they kept running into this unidentified DNA, which they later realized is a complete DNA sequence. And it is one of the smallest genomes that we've ever seen. The S. Mirabil isn't a virus and it isn't quite a cell. This archaea balances perfectly on the line scientists draw between life and non-life. And the lineage is closer to complex organisms like us than to bacteria. Some think it might be de-evolving into something even simpler like a virus and could in fact be a living fossil, though all scientists don't agree on this. The Sukuna RKM proves that life's boundaries are stranger than we imagined.